Yeah, so this is the radio that I uh, found down the tip. It's not that old, it's probably 1980s, I couldn't find much on, it on the internet. But um, yeah, I managed to hack it with a three-quarter female plug you can see right there. And uh, when you hack it with a plug like that, it's, um, you can plug your guitar into it and it turns into an amp and the sound's absolutely amazing. It takes four double C batteries. Which, um, which is a good thing for these, because the more batteries uh, they take, the better the sound, the louder they're gonna be. So, it's pretty basic, really. There's a, a wire um, from the jack, from the, from the uh, positive end of the jack, joined onto the volume pot inside the radio, and then the other wire is joined onto the uh, negative um, terminal in the battery. And that's it, really. It's on the AM band. It's got AM and FM, and I've left the aerial on there. Well, I had to replace the aerial because the one that it came with was pretty broken. And um, but the AM and FM still work, so it's still a radio. I mean, it still works well. And the cool thing also is it's got a high and low tone. Um, fortunately, it doesn't work on the AM, but it's still got a wicked sound. So yeah, I'll plug it in. I mean, it's really simple. You get your jack into the jack hole, self-explanatory, turn the sucker on, make sure it's not on a radio station, you've got to find those quiet bits in between any radio stations, don't turn up full, it doesn't, doesn't sound that good, I'll still turn about three quarters to mid, then you strum, so and then you get...